Hey YouTube, how are you guys doing? I'm back with another review. I haven't uploaded in a while. Just been busy with a new job and, uh, you know, just life in general. It's been a couple months since I've last uploaded, but I ordered a few watches on AliExpress's 11.11 sale. And to my surprise, it's only been a couple weeks and my first watch has come in. Um, so we will take a look at that. I've been looking at you guys' reviews from my other videos, uh, my video from... Uh, the Seiko from Wish uh, has really sparked a lot of comments. Uh, thank you for those who've criticized me and those who appreciate the video. Um, so we're going to look at this watch now. This watch is going to kind of take you back to a vintage era, the 80s and 90s, uh, and to the bullhead watches in particular. And I'll show you. This piece is really interesting. And since it was only 11 11 sale, it's under 50 Canadian dollars. So... Uh, well under 40 US dollars and I'm going to show you that uh, just now. So before we dive into the watch itself, uh, this is the watch I've ordered but in a different color variation. Uh, if it shows up here and there it is uh, right now, the black and red variation. So if you guys can see it is uh, a bullhead and it reminds me uh, of the Citizen bullhead and the Alba Bullhead that came out in the late 80s and 90s. Originally, I did start collecting watches as a vintage watch collector. So that's kind of where I really picked up his watch, found it interesting. And uh, I bought it uh, for just under $30. So you can see right now it's on sale for $35.53. Um, the Black Friday price will be $29.35. But I picked it up on, on $11.11 for just $25 Canadian, which is about $21 US. Um, so T5 watches, we never heard about this brand before I picked it up. I did uh, try to look for a review on YouTube, but there was none. So I thought I'd order it and get a review. Uh, pretty good ratings by other buyers. Um, they do have different other variations in colors and models. Um, Says it has a Japanese quartz movement, reliable, real chronograph, uh, comes in a fancy tin box package. And um, yeah, little details about the watch, 48 millimeter case, and I'll show you that when you when you guys are looking at the watch. It says 30 meters waterproof, again it's not waterproof, it's water resistance um, to 30 meters. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not a diver watch, I can see that for sure. Uh, so let's get into the watch now. Alright, so here's the watch itself. My wife did get the package this morning. And she sent me a picture of it. Uh, but I have not opened it up myself to take a look at it. So here's that fancy tin package that it said it has come in. Really nice. I'm not sure what those signs mean. Uh, T5, the brand 100% sports time, 3 ATM. So... Again, 30 meters water resistance. Says it right here. Again, that's the right thing. It says water resistant to 30 meters. Unlike on their advert on AliExpress, it says waterproof. Um, so let's open it up. Take a look at it. And, yeah. Wow, this is kind of on here stiff. And here, little foam protector for the watch. Uh, manual, I guess, in here. We're not going to really get into it. And let's get into watch itself. Oh, yes. All right. Let's get out another foam padding inside. And let's get this all done. And here it is, guys. The T5 Bullhead Chronograph. Again, don't expect too much from it. I'm not, I'm just comparing the design from the Citizen, of course. Quality wise, it's not entirely there, but again, it has a fully functional, as they say, chronograph movement. So, yeah, there you go. Wow, that is something very, very interesting going on there. It has a date window at the six o'clock window. Uh, it says it's a stainless steel case, um, screwed on case back. I'm not sure of the crown. Yeah, crown is not screwing. But hey guys, for 
around $30 Canadian. Uh, just under $25 USD. It is a great looking watch. Uh, again, 48 millimeter case size. And uh, the bullhead style has a nice soft silicone strap, black and red, uh, to match the dial. Uh, let's see if we turn that off. All right. Great looking watch. And as, as I showed you guys, there's different variations. Um, does seem kind of thick. According to the specifications, it's 12 millimeters in thickness. Again, with the 48 millimeter case. Uh, on my wrist today, I'm wearing the Pagani Design VK Quartz Chronograph with a split second chrono, um, you know, stopwatch. I've done a review on this piece. Uh, do check my other videos for a full review on that. And um, I mean, slightly bigger than the Pagani. Um, again, great looking watch. Uh, if I hit that again, so yeah, just this this uh, rotating rotating thing with the numbers, which I find it neat. I mean, there's no way uh, a high end watch entry level is something they could get for a good price. And I'm all about finding a good deal. Uh, it's definitely, I definitely think it'll be. A conversation starting piece something that something someone may look at and say oh wow what is that and kind of you get in a conversation about that and yeah so let me know what you guys think about the watch how you guys like it uh, will you buy one yourself and um, if you do check out I'll leave you a, a link in the description as to where you guys can get it from Aliexpress and uh, yeah thank you thank you for your time if you haven't subscribed Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I've been growing to 13 subscribers. Hopefully before the Christmas and the New Year I can get 50. Yeah. Share the video with your friends and family. And let me know if you like it at all. Thank you.